Hey, this is Dave from Bay Stencil. Um, you know, sometimes you have a stencil and you figure you just have to paint it the way it uh, uh, was from the original image. So if you've got like a, a golf course with a white golf ball on it, you need to paint the grass green and the golf ball white. You know, and other times you have a stencil that kind of inspires you to do something a little bit different to interpret the image and to interpret the lines of the stencil in a different way. Um, I'm going to try that now with the Marilyn Monroe stencil and you'll get the idea. You know, it's rip off of Mandy Warhol, but um, but just playing around with it can help you understand um, what the stencil is capable of and can inspire you to do new things. Let's try it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is just, you know, uh, paint the stencil and see how the colors come out. I don't even know which colors are which layers or which layers are which values. I'm just going to paint them all and see what the stencil produces when I do that. I'm not going to take any uh, great care with registration. I just kind of want to play around and see what's under the under the hood. All right, I like it. Uh, it looks like a black and white postcard on the wall. And now I might want to try to do something better with it. Um, one of the things that I'd like to change is I, I want to lose this sharp line here or or I want to interpret it in a way that makes it more interesting to look at like I want to you know explicitly copy the Warhol idea and get blocks of color and liven that up with different colors I'm also um, I don't, I'm not really crazy about the jet black I'm below I know that's the the idea of the image the original image from the photographer but I think I kind of want to play with those things and I just don't want it to be black and white I do have a little bit of these mid-tones if I were to stencilize this again I think I would want really clear three layers I'd really want a nice strong mid-tone in there but um, I'm gonna play around with this because this is what I've got okay so I know you don't love that and I don't love it either but um, keep in mind that this was the uh, the layer that I was painting, I was really basically bringing in the white stuff. And when I bring that that last, the darkest layer in, I think this is actually going to look pretty good. So um, I, I don't love it right now, but if I put the if I do the work and put the midtones in, uh, actually I'm not really sure where those midtones go. I have a feeling that they go right here. Okay, so far so good. I've uh, not put in the midtones yet because the midtones aren't really the star of the show, but I have lost a little bit of the edges around the top. I would even probably do more. And I did make the lower part a little bit more interesting because I think that this, uh, this uh, jet black part is just, uh, I kind of lose it, lose it down there. So I'd either want to maybe um, have this thing border another surface. Uh, or have it be sitting floating above another surface just so that I don't have that black edge sitting down there. It's very portrait, portrait like. Um, the other thing is that I like the way the, the highlighting is working around the eyes. I kind of like the little bit of highlight here, but I think I would have put it on the bridge of the nose instead and I would have done something a little bit different with the forehead. Um, let's go ahead and put in the mid-tones. I think we're going to see a little fill in here and here and here and just see if that doesn't improve it. Um, notice though that we're still just basically interpreting the photo. We're still just kind of filling in the lines of the photo. We'll try to do something a little bit different next time around. These are definitely lips right here. And if we want them to read as lips, we need to make the outline the same color as the interior. Right now, it kind of looks like a, just a, a dark blotch with a pink in the middle of it. Um, the eyes are looking okay, uh, but this needs to be brighter and open up more if we're going to read it as an eyelid. And, um, and this is a little messy. I'm not really sure what's going on here. This is kind of ear-like, but it's not really ear. It's more hair-like. Okay, so we could fix that. Um, you know, why don't we just go ahead and, and make this one a little bit nicer and add a little bit of red to it with, um, and use the black, 
Use the black one more time. I'm not sure if that's an improvement. I'm gonna look at it for a little bit and then decide uh, decide how to change that. Right now, I want to kind of do another one, and I want to get a little bit a little bit stranger, and um, and maybe maybe make this interpretation a little bit a little bit wider than it is here. So, uh, so you can see we started with basic stencil. We went to um, kind of like an interesting color interpretation of the stencil. We kind of tried to do a few things around here. And then we just used the stencil kind of as a rough basis for doing something kind of a little bit different. And, and it's, I wouldn't call it an artistic success. But, but you can tell that it's different. And you can tell that it's inspired by the stencil. But it is not just the stencil. So, um, I don't know. Uh, that's uh, that's some ideas for how you can take an ordinary stencil and make it a little bit different. Make it your own. This is Dave uh, signing off from Base Stencil.